back at it again with the funniest kid test answers. Everybody say it with me. Say it with me. Boy, you big fat ass. All you have to do today, you don't even have to use the bathroom. All you have to do is click the subscribe button. Go, go, go. Just subscribe. It'll literally save the environment. And yeah, comment down below what video I should do next. And don't you dare put your mama. Let me know. And let's go. Woo! Okay, Rachel has 16 chocolate bar. Dang, greedy. 16 chocolate bar. What are you hogging from Halloween? <laughs> Tracy takes four from her and asks for the remaining quarter. What would she end up with? A slap? <laughs> Yeah, you stealing my candy bars? Gonna steal my chocolates, my Snickers, my Kit Kats. You gonna get a Kit Slap clean across the face. Like, don't touch my candy. The teacher was like, not the answer I was looking for. <laughs> well, it's realistic, all right? Don't mess with Rachel. Rachel's not playing around. You see her with candy, you leave her alone. Otherwise, she gonna slap you right on the booty crack. Name, Jake. Draw a polygon with exactly six sides. Be sure to use a ruler. Okay, good job. Use a crayon to color each vertex of your polygon. How many vertices did you color? Six, all right, there you go. Good job, you're doing good. What is the name of the polygon you drew? Hot dog. <laughs> what, you name your polygon hot dog? The polygon's name is a hexagon. It's a hex, six sides, hexagon, right? Yeah. A hot dog don't got six sides, you dumbo. Are you hungry? You thinking about hot dogs? You want some hot dogs with ketchup and mustard? With some relish and onions? Chicago dog with the jalapeno and the pepper on top? I ought to slap the hot dog out your mouth. Putting answers like that. Come on, Jake. Is your name Jake? Who you, you who's watching this right now? Is your name Jake? If it is, comment down below if you like hot dogs. That's what she said. All right. If someone in the audience cannot hear you, you probably need to increase your mom, uh, your volume. If the speaker never changes his rate or pitch, he might be speaking in a monotone. Okay, there you go. Oh, two for two. If someone suggests that you are slurring your words, you need to work on your alcoholism. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, that's that's probably true. Why are you slurring your words? You need to speak clearly like me. Stop getting drunk and stop drinking alcohol, you alcoholic. I'm gonna send you to those AA meetings, the Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, where they sit in a circle and share their feelings. Is that what you want? Drinking in the morning, drinking in the afternoon, drinking at nighttime before bed is bad. And we ain't talking about drinking Kool-Aid. Washington's army didn't receive any support from Godzilla. <laughs> Did you just see the movie or something? But you didn't get it marked wrong, that's correct. Washington's army didn't receive any support from Godzilla. Godzilla was nowhere to be found. Godzilla was taking a snooze. He was sleep, sleep, sleeping. I mean, Washington's army probably could have used some help from Godzilla, but Godzilla said, this ain't my problem. Now, when King Kong comes around, then Godzilla gets up. That's when he's like, all right, y'all, I got this. Who won that battle anyway, Godzilla or King Kong? Pretend that you have been given a very special egg from the Easter Bunny. I don't want no egg from the Easter Bunny, you nasty. Describe what the egg looks like, what is inside, and what makes it special. What would you do with it? Try to use as many adjectives as you can in your paragraph. Remember to edit your paragraph. Two. And they put, yay, I got a pink egg from the Easter Bunny with one million. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me count this right. Uh, oh. You put the comma in the wrong place, you dodo. It would actually be 100 million dollars in it. Finally, I could be rich from now on. Call me Miss Fancy. I'm living in a mansion eating bacon. Oh yeah, you living in a mansion eating bacon. <laughs> what? You gotta do better than that, you bacon bozo. If I'm living in a mansion, I'm eating, you know, I'm probably eating bacon. Bacon sounds pretty good. I'm eating hot dogs in my mansion, all right? We eating boiled hot dogs, that's right. Okay, I'll put them on the grill. Barbecue. Barbecue hot dogs. Bacon wrapped hot dogs. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Guys, we're bacon wrapping everything. I'll put bacon in my cereal because I'm rich. Okay, so you got the numbers three and then you got the number 10. Circle the smallest number. 10? You really think 10 is smaller than three, you dummy? Tell or show how you know your answer. Rainbow? 
Okay, all right, this person has been drinking, all right? Uh, alcoholism, or they've been drinking too many Capri Suns, too many Shirley Temples, my boy, or my girl, or my non-binary, I don't know. Anyway, uh, why are you drawing rainbows? What, a rainbow told you that 10 is smaller than three? Listen, you got bigger problems if rainbows are talking to you. You taking advice from rainbows, that's not good. Was there a leprechaun over there too? Was there a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow? Did Skittles pop out of it, tell you to taste the rainbow this person may be uh schizophrenic but anyway all right name a location country or region or area that is sparsely populated the ocean yes that's correct state one significant physical reason why the area named above is sparsely populated and they put because humans can't breathe underwater <laughs> Well, yeah, but like there's animals that can breathe underwater. Um, so, you know, so the ocean might be kind of pop. You, you know what? Uh, you're incorrect. Oh, yeah, the teacher marked it incorrect. So, yeah, you could have put a country or a region that's sparsely. You could have put Antarctica. You could have put Wyoming. Are there people in Wyoming? Put Nebraska or like Idaho. Not Idaho. Utaho. Jeez. Complete each sentence on the lines below. 10 bluebirds sometimes chirp. The mother duck lays eggs. An American eagle is illegal to cook. The eagle is illegal to cook. What? You're telling me I can't have barbecued eagle? <laughs> like, come on, man. But I can eat all the chickens I want? That's discrimination, man. Like, really? I can eat goose. I can eat turkey. But I can't eat eagle? I mean, man, that's when you know you're rich. You having sauteed eagle. That's what I'm talking about. I wonder if eagle tastes good. Like, like, cause that's like a rare bird so like you know eagle might be good it might be popping instead of kentucky fried chicken i want kentucky fried eagle daily word problems monday through okay all right marcus is the strongest kid in second grade man i'd knock him out uh he used to lift 12 pounds now he can lift 97 pounds how much more can he lift now marcus is on steroids <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if in second grade he could lift 12 pounds and then all of a sudden he could lift 97 pounds, he definitely on steroids. Marcus, you're looking lean. I see the cut in your bicep. Bro, I know you did not get them muscles by going to 24 hour fitness. Marcus got them muscles by uh doing some something illegal with the eagle. Here we go. All right, we got a little graph here and then uh, you put date. No thanks, I would like to stay single. We were looking for today's date. We don't want to date you. It wasn't a question, but anyway. And the teacher said, good choice. Girlfriends are expensive and a lot of work. How do you know they don't want a boyfriend? Wow, you assume girlfriend. You could have put boyfriend. Wow, cancel. This teacher is can Report them to the, who do, to the dean, yeah. We reporting you to the dean, you dang discriminatory piece of poo. How dare you? But it is true. Girlfriends are expensive and a lot of work. They make everything a lot more difficult than it needs to be. The cookie recipe called for one cup of butter, four cups of flour, half cup of sugar, and four teaspoons of vanilla. That sounds pretty good. But Sarah only has half a cup of butter. Explain how Sarah could still make the cookies without going to the store or borrowing from a neighbor. Steal? Uh, uh no, no, no. Stealing is bad. You don't steal ingredients. You gonna go to the store and steal butter? Like, come on, girl, you better than that. All you have to do is use half the ingredients that the recipe calls for. If you only have half a cup of butter, but it calls for one cup, then you do two cups of flour instead of four. And then a quarter cup of sugar, and wait, no. Instead of half a cup of sugar, you do no cups of sugar. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, half of a half. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, name a solid. Poop! Not all the time. Actually, most of the time it's not. Maybe I need to change my diet. Name a liquid. Pee. Name a gas. Fart. Are you serious? You got pee, poop, and fart on your mind? Do you have to use the bathroom? Do you want to be excused? I don't want to hear about this. Yo, poop and pee and pee pee fart habits. Have you ever sneezed and then farted right after? It's terrible. I know somebody who did it in class. Sixth grade. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Nicholas. Uh-huh. You thought I forgot. Sucker. Oh, uh, yeah, we remember that. The teacher laughed so loud. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> well, sometimes our bodies just, you know, just let it out. It was disgusting. I feel bad for everybody who was sitting next to him. So, yeah. F words. Fart. Are you serious? Why is everybody farting today? Is it Taco Tuesday? Did y'all have too many beef and bean burritos? And what the, what, 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 what the heck is this coming out of it? It's yellow. L. Do you fart yellow? <laughs> 
<laughs> that's gross. One leg is malnourished and the other leg is normal size. That's very weird. You gotta work on your drawings, my boy. But anyway, you're fine. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one.